Oh, you look like a fat fish. <laughs> hey, what's up you guys? Yes, it is another time for some more conspiracy theories. Today I thought I would do a couple Christmas themed ones since we're so close to the holidays. And I also thought I would do some Kardashian ones since, well, they're fucking aliens, I know it. But let's get started with some Christmas conspiracies. So the first conspiracy theory that a lot of people actually believe is that Santa is actually Satan. So here are some clues as to why people think Santa might be the devil. Number one, Santa likes to wear red, the devil's favorite color. Number two, he has supernatural powers and flies around the world the night before Jesus' birthday. And number three, obviously look at his name. I mean, if you mix up a couple letters, you got Satan. Now, most people that believe this theory are Christian, and their main thought is that Santa was put here by the devil to distract us from the real purpose of Christmas, which is Jesus being born. So to them, they're like, wait a minute, Santa is the devil. He's trying to make everybody forget about Jesus. We gotta get rid of Santa. And also Starbucks, I guess, I don't know. But it is interesting to think maybe Santa Claus wasn't a real person like they say he was. And maybe he was made up by, I don't know, the Illuminati. And maybe Santa is the fucking leader of the Illuminati, and his plan is to take over for the world one present at a time. Or it's just a big fat cartoon people stop believing in around 12. Either way, I believe it. Speaking of Santa Claus not being who we think he is, our second theory is maybe Santa Claus wasn't an actual person. Maybe Santa Claus was created by Coca-Cola. Now most historians believe that Santa Claus was never seen wearing red or a hat or like white collar or any of that until around the 1930s when Coca-Cola started using him in their ads. Before those ads, Santa Claus was wearing a lot of different clothes, nothing similar to what he looks like now. So some conspiracy theorists think that Coca-Cola created this image of this fat, jolly guy with this red suit because red is Coca-Cola's color and a white collar because Coca-Cola also uses white and that Santa would always be having a Coca-Cola in his hand ready to deliver those presents. And honestly, I believe this one because the amount of fucking subliminal messages that companies put out in commercials and on TV to make us get hooked on something and want to buy something. I mean, the fact that Valentine's Day is a thing, come on. They just want you to buy cards and chocolate and flowers. They don't care about the love of it all. And maybe Christmas is the same way. Which is why on Christmas, I'm going to be drinking Pepsi. Stick it to the man! Now our third conspiracy has nothing to do with Christmas, but I thought it was so crazy I had to talk about it. Now this theory kind of goes under that category of theories that basically is saying that television and movies and music are trying to kind of fuck up the youth of the world. So a little over 10 years ago, there was an episode of Pokemon that was playing in Japan, and there was a part in the show that caused hundreds of kids to have epileptic seizures while they were watching it. Basically the clip was like a bunch of colors and a bunch of lights or something, and a lot of kids were very sensitive to that and they had seizures. Now one theory is that maybe there was some kind of mind control inside of that episode, but it glitched and it fucked up and it caused a bunch of kids to, you know, have seizures. Now I'm going to show you the clip. It has been a little bit altered so that it won't give you a seizure. They took out a couple things that were like really crazy. And um, if you are sensitive though to crazy light or crazy sound, please don't watch the rest of this video. Alright, roll the clip. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I felt a little queasy watching that. It was, first of all, just a lot. Second of all, this isn't even really a conspiracy. I mean, there are reports of a bunch of kids having seizures, so it makes you wonder, what about the kids' shows that aren't causing seizures? That means whatever they're putting in that show is succeeding, and we have no idea. Maybe they're subliminally telling you to buy McDonald's or telling you to go buy a certain candy. Who knows? All I know is there's a lot more to TV than we know. Speaking of television, our next theory is that The Simpsons can actually predict the future. Now, a lot of screen caps have been popping up online, basically showing episodes of The Simpsons where they predicted something that happened years later. If you look at this picture, you can see that they predicted 9-11. You can see the 9 right next to the Twin Towers. They also predicted Donald Trump running for president, as you can see right here. They even predicted Super Bowl scores, down to the exact number. So next time you're watching The Simpsons, keep an eye open because maybe there'll be some clues for the future. But oddly enough, The Simpsons isn't the only kids show that predicted 9-11. Also predicting it was Sesame Street, as you can see here, or Cookie Monster is tearing apart the World Trade Center, also in this old Spider-Man cartoon. World Trade Center parking garage. How did you know? The gravel that I found in Man Spider's webbing. It still had the scent of gunpowder from that bomb explosion of years ago. Clever. I'm impressed. I don't know, something about that gives me the chills. Okay, our last conspiracy theory is the one that, that scares me the most because I honestly really believe it, and it is that the Kardashians are in the Illuminati. 
So there's a lot of proof and evidence of this. I'm just going to go through a few samples. Most of the samples are about the younger sisters and the way they pose in their pictures. This first picture is them standing in front of the symbol of the Illuminati, which is right behind them. The second picture is them doing the one eye sign in front of a mirror. And the third picture is the creepiest. This is them standing, holding hands with two shadowy, creepy men. And if that doesn't look like two people holding hands with the Illuminati, then I don't fucking know what does. Now, a lot of conspiracy theorists believe that the Kardashians are actually there to distract all of us from what's actually going on in the world. I mean, the day that Bruce Jenner came out as transgender, so many things were happening in the world that none of us were even focused on. Bills were passed, laws were created, people were killed. They didn't want us to see any of that shit. Not saying that Caitlyn isn't important for coming out as trans. I thought that was amazing. I'm just saying, there's always more to the picture. Theorists also believe that the two younger Kardashian sisters, their purpose is to keep pushing the sexualization of minors onto the world. I mean, how old are they? Like 17 and they're like dating older rappers and like doing all these sexual things things and making girls plump up their lips. I mean, they're obviously sexualizing everybody. And then of course you got Kim and Kanye, who are the perfect Illuminati couple. I don't know. I mean, the reason I really believe this one is because, let's keep it real, the Kardashians have nothing really to offer. They don't do anything, but they're famous. They're not doing anything. They're famous for distracting us. They keep getting more and more and more famous as more and more fucked up stuff happens in the world. All I'm saying is turn off the Kardashian show once in a while and I don't know, go to CNN because there's some fucked up shit going down. All right, you guys, there you go. Those are our conspiracies for today. Leave me a comment below telling me which ones you believe. Also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I make new videos every single day. And if you want to see more conspiracy videos, I'll put a playlist in the description. All right, you guys, hope you had fun. I had fun with you and make sure to keep your eyes open. Bye. Good lord. <laughs> that is a very intense way to start a video. What if I had my snacks, my little drink, my little feed up, and then you scream at me like that? Shit's going everywhere. There goes my Chipotle bowl, there goes my Starbucks.